previously on Blue Viewers. Donna! Stop the car! Stop the car! There's no time for this. He's got her. No, he doesn't have Donna. We brought him in. Well, he's got her somewhere. Why didn't you tell us earlier you worked as a prostitute? Because it's not relevant. I was going to tell you. Is there anything else you were going to tell us about, like staging your own abduction? So it's you, Amy and the boss, all on the same side. Jonesy, if I'm on anyone's side, it's yours. I'm saying the way you look at Evan. You can forget about it. I think I was never my boyfriend. You know that guy? Hugo Allen? Yeah. I think it was hard to kill him. He's a hard gun. I kind of wish we could stay here all day. Nah. Now there's an idea. <sighs> so we've got to get down to the station. We? Oui? And report what you told me about Hugo Allen. No way. Donna, we're talking about a missing person. You're the only one who has evidence that he may be dead. The St David's police need to know what's going on. They know already. How? You can tell no one. No, I can't promise that. Well, you've got to. My life's at risk here, please. Okay. You've got to okay, promise okay. me. Okay, okay. They're behind it. The cops in St David's. They're the ones behind Hugo Allen's murder. Donna told you this. The coppers in St David's murdered Hugo Allen. Yeah, but no one else can know. When did she tell you? This morning. So, what, she just turned up at your place? No, no, she was all right. All right. <sighs> she has a great line in bedtime stories. Are you going to help me or not? Well, help you what? Check out Hugo Allen. You want to conduct a private investigation into a missing persons case being run out of a police station in a different town. <laughs> You've got to tell the boss, Jonesy. No. Then PJ. No way. Look, if you don't want to help, it's fine. No. Jonesy. No, look... Forget it, I'll do it myself. But don't you breathe a word about it to anyone. So I thought I was going to spend the day doing paperwork and desk duty. Man, this sure beats the hell out of that. Kind of a long way from Mount Thomas. something you want to talk about? What are we doing here? Visiting. Wait, are we interviewing someone? They never give Joss or me anything interesting to do. Alone. Jonesy, but that's not fair. I'll be back. Hugo, have you found him? Is he all right? There's no news, Mrs. Allen. I just need to ask you a few questions. Did Detective Sergeant Reid send you? Yeah. Now, was there anything strange about your husband in the days leading up to his disappearance? Was he stressed? Nervous? Mm. We wouldn't let me answer the phone. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that sort of thing. I just put it down to work. It's been crazy. We've been working all sorts of long hours. Well, what about the police? Did Hugo ever mention anything about the St David's police? Did they ever call here? No. Why would they? We've had nothing to do with the police until after he disappeared. Well, was there anything else? Anything that seemed unusual? Anything odd? Oh, only the break-in. In Hugo's office, the day before he disappeared. But you know about this. I told the other police they didn't even seem to think it was connected. Did they investigate? <laughs> Not really. There was nothing taken, so they seemed to think it was just kids. Do you recognise this man? Oh, is he a suspect? Oh, for God's sake, what's going on? Where's my husband? Oh, please, I'm trying to help you.
No. I've never seen him. I'm sorry to get upset. It's so good that someone is finally taking me seriously. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? Because of all my phone calls? I have called the station every day to ask about Hugo. No one seems interested. Mrs. Allen, I promise you I will do everything I can to find out what happened to your husband. so angry with my dad. You stop someone from being beaten up and they beat you up instead. Olivia, your dad saved that kid's life. And when he wakes up, you can be the first to tell him that. When he wakes up. Why do you have to be the good guy? For that security camera tape, you said that was... It was pretty good evidence, right? Yeah, it's the best. The brief will go to the OPP tomorrow night. This is one case that is tight as a drum. The man that did this to him, I promise you, will never do it to anyone else. Statements, photos. Hey. Hey, have you seen a tape line around? What is it? It's the evidentiary tape from the Richards assault. Oh, it's probably in the property office. Do you want me to go have a look? No. Hey, Donna's story is looking better by the minute. I just spoke to Hugo Allen's wife. You what? Jonesy, I'd like a word about Donna Maitland. What did she tell you? What you should have. That we've got an allegation that Hugo Allen was murdered by St David's police. Don't blame Susie. She's the only one thinking with a brain in all of this. And I'm pretty sure I know where yours has got to. Hey, that's got nothing to do with there it. There is no corruption. There's no case. I rang a D at St David's. Christ. I'll give him a bit of credit. He's my mate. I speak to him every week. He'll think he brought it up. Bottom line is, they don't think Hugo Allen's missing at all. OK. Where is he? Hawaii, probably. <laughs> what? He's got a reputation for cheating on his wife. The day that he disappeared, he cleared out their joint bank account. St David's think he's probably split town with his latest girlfriend. Well, don't you think that's exactly the line of corrupt investigation to take? And what about the break-in? Why aren't St David's investigating that? Because there's no connection. Says who? The same coppers? Everything that Donna has said checks out. Then get her to make a formal statement. No, she's scared to death. Jonesy, if she's telling the truth, she has to put it on record. I'm sorry, but anything else is just pillow talk. Thanks a lot. Hey, you need help with this, Jonesy. You can't work Donna's allegations by yourself. Yeah, well, I'm doing that anyway, aren't I? The beauty shall no more be found... Andrew Marvell. You like it? Then we talked. Look, I just wanted you to know how I feel. Thy beauty shall no more be found, nor in thy marble vault shall sound my echoing song. Lucky girl. Secret admirer. Not quite. You and Jonesy were gone for ages this morning. You must have done something. No, I can't talk about it. You wouldn't understand anyway. What do you mean? Of course I would. Well, the fewer people who know about it, the better. About what? What happened? All I can say, it was a covert operation. 
Was it dangerous? Gave me a whole new insight into the job. Donna, you have to make a statement. No. Why do you need me to go in? Because we're talking about murder and police corruption. I can't investigate that on my own. I need support. So get some help. Well, no one's going to authorise anything if I don't have a witness willing to stand by their word. That means you making a statement. Then everyone will know. I'll be a sitting duck. I will not let anything happen to you. If you don't trust me, I can't see we've got much of a future together. I mean, if that's what you want. Until two weeks ago, I was working for a guy called Millie Chang. Chang runs a restaurant in St David's. <laughs> yeah, that's on the ground floor. Upstairs, he's running a gaming room. So where does Hugo Allen come into this? Oh, Hugo was a gambler, regular. And you were? Chang's employee. Employee? Cougar. So, Louis Chang paid you to sleep with Hugo Allen? Hugo was a nice guy. He was a gentleman. Sweet. Anyhow, Hugo came to believe that Louis was ripping him off, that the roulette wheel was rigged. Hugo wanted to get even, so he took some photos on his mobile phone. They tried shaking him down too, but they didn't find it. Hugo had already given it to me. Let's see it. I don't have it. It was taken from Evan's room. So, where's the connection with St David's Police? When Hugo disappeared, I fronted Louis. <laughs> I can't believe I was that stupid. Well, tell her what he said. He didn't deny getting rid of Hugo. And he said if I started making waves, then he'd send Theo after me. Theo yeah, closures. OK, uh, but you still haven't explained where corrupt police fit in. I told Louis I'd go to the police. He just laughed. I said they were already in his back pocket. His exact words were, How do you think Hugo ended up dead? Remember to lock the door. So we're going to pass this on to the boss? No. If Donna is telling the truth, we don't know how far this spreads. But Chang never mentioned anything about the man Thomas Coppers being involved. Doesn't mean they're not. These are my workmates. I know them. Do you? You wanted me on board. I'm on board. But we have to do this my way. OK. What are you doing for dinner? Madame, sir, welcome to my restaurant. Louis Chang. I haven't seen you here before. No, this is our first time. Oh, we actually heard you might be able to help us out. The roast duckling is very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant uh, we've had a big day at the track. It's quite a lucky day. Well done. Wouldn't mind seeing how our luck holds out. Our friends told us this was the place to go for a little action. Who might this friend be? Oh, it's probably better we don't talk names. <laughs> we'll talk after dessert. In the meantime, enjoy your meal. That's for Jones. And senior detective Fox. Inspector. And Mrs. Falcon Price? Uh, no, this is senior constable Lucy Wu. Kevin Jones, Amy Fox. Lucy's our new multicultural liaison officer. I thought I'd brief her on our current situation in a less formal environment than the station. Lovely. The roast duckling is superb. Look, we don't know he was about to invite us upstairs. He could have been just directing us to the St David's trots. Yeah, well, we would know if it hadn't been for Falcon Price. His timing was interesting, that's for sure. 
He's got to be protecting Chang. On the other hand, he might just like Chinese food. Corrupt coppers in St David's. Falcon Price is at St David's. Chang runs illegal gambling, and Falcon Price just so happens to turn up at Chang's. We can't sit on this. We've got to hand it over to ESD. And if this is all just some story that Donna's made up? It's not. But if we accuse the District Divisional Inspector of corruption and turn out to be wrong... It's not a great career move. <laughs> so what do you suggest we do? But what would you do if you were Falcon Price? You're into something dodgy and you suspect a couple of Mount Thomas coppers are onto you. Pay a visit. See what they know. We'll send someone else to do your dirty work. Andrew! Hello, PJ. How are you? Good. You've met Amy? Yeah, of course. Actually, you're the one I'm here to see. Oh, right. Yes? Uh, in private. Well, who am I to argue with my line supervisor? Is there some sort of investigation out of Mount Thomas into the disappearance of Hugo Allen and a possible connection with Chang's restaurant? Why <laughs> would you think that there was? First, I happen to know that a Constable Jones visited Hugo's wife yesterday. Second, I happen to know you were drilling one of my junior detectives for information about the case. And third, I happen to know that you and that same Constable Jones went to Chang's last night. A, I have no idea what Constable Jones was doing yesterday. B, I was just chatting informally with my St David's contemporary when the Allen case was mentioned. And C, I was in the company of Constable Jones on a date, which, respectfully, is none of your business. But, if you are curious about Chang's, then why don't you talk to Inspector Falcon Price, who was also there last night. I'm going to have to put my cards on the table, aren't I? Truth is, I also think there's a connection between Hugo and Chang's. Now, I'm putting everything on the line telling you this, but I don't have enough evidence to move against anyone. What do you do now? Our informant tells us that... Chang's running an illegal casino out of his top floor. So what's the connection with Hugo Allen? Hugo threatened Chang and Chang had him murdered. <sighs> with the help of his contacts at St David's. Contacts, plural? Yeah, they reckon so, but they don't have any idea who the corrupt police might be. This informant of yours, I hope they're locked up tight. Yeah. Then we better move on Chang's. Can I count on you? Absolutely. And there's a couple of coppers I can trust. Is there someone you can bring? This is a warrant to search the premises. What's upstairs? Nothing. What the hell is happening? Reception room. Brilliant. G'day, Theo. I'm not talking to you. You're not such a big man without a spanner, are you? This is harassment. Tell someone who cares, mate. Now, you want to tell us about Louis Chang and his restaurant? Never heard of him. Don't even like Chinese food. We're not talking about the food. We're talking about what goes on upstairs. The gambling. It's news to me. It's a nice view. Bit of a drop. Are you threatening me? No, that's your department. Look, you've had your jollies. No, I didn't now come here for jollies. I came to offer you a deal. You kidding me or what? Look, we're going to get to Chang. And when we do, he's going to turn on you. So if you talk to us, then maybe we can work something out. Donna's been spouting all this crap, hasn't she? She's great in the sack, man, but you better watch what comes out of her mouth. You're saying your old girlfriend's a liar? You really think I'd let him screw a girlfriend of mine? Right, you're Constable! Good. I'd get myself checked out if I were you. Never know what you might have picked up. So what exactly is your relationship with Donna Maitland? Don't have one. 
Well, you dragged her out of the pub the other night. Let's just say that was a message from a mutual friend. Who? You really think I'm going to tell you that? Was it Chang? I told you, I never heard of him. All right. Well, what about Hugo Allen? You've heard of him, haven't you? Sorry to disappoint you. This message wouldn't have anything to do with a large shipment of drugs, would it? If it did, then Donna would be your girl. No, she's clean. Is that what she told you? Thanks, Constable. I don't think we need to disturb Theo any further. Donna is not on drugs. I think I'd know if she was a user. Hey. Lucy were. Let's just get in the car. So what's the St. David's multicultural liaison officer doing in Mount Thomas, parked outside the home of Theo Kalutis? Morning. Thought you might like it. Another one. Oh, that is so nice. Thought you said there was no secret admirer. There isn't. Be on something. Maybe Jones is not the only one to get some action on his patrol, eh? Excluding the obvious possibility of Hello? a negative gradient, the only way the equation works is by flipping the axis to Excuse me. The... Do you realise you cut us off back there? It's simple. It's it's the difference between a, a, a tunnel and a roller coaster. Mathematics. Yeah, good. Could I have your license, please? Oh, right. yeah, of course. Roland Hill, you've been driving for three days? Yeah, they made me get my license said they couldn't keep paying for taxis. They? The university. A university who sends cabs for its students? That's a first. Oh, I'm a lecturer. Quantum physics. All right. Can you test him? Counselor, can you test him? Blow until I tell you to stop. All right, that's enough. Oh, stop. Stop. Constable? Okay, well, your reading's negative. Be careful in the future, all right? That sort of driving can cause a lot of serious accidents, you understand? Yes, yes, of course, sorry. Not exactly the picture of danger, is he? So who exactly would be responsible for this? Then worms shall try that long-preserved virginity and your quaint honour turn to dust and into ashes all my lust. Look, I don't care who it's from or who it's to, but the poetry and whatever else you're up to stops now. Especially the poetry. Oh, well, yeah. I thought it was quite a good choice, actually. Hey, has anyone seen an evidentiary tape? It's got Richards written on the side of it. Richards? OPP needs that brief tomorrow, don't they? Thank you for pointing that out. Right, OK. Look, everyone, just stop what you're doing. Uh, the only thing that matters for the next 20 minutes is finding that tape. All right, Evan, you uh, try the property office. Susie, try the lockers, will you? Ben, would you mind going through PJ's office? No, look, I've already checked it twice. Oh, well, you know, fresh air. I wouldn't know, would it? Thanks. So, did you arrest anyone? What? When? On Jones's patrol. No, no actual arrests. Well, you must have done some heavy interrogation or something. Yeah, yeah, it was a little bit more complex than that. Complex how? Isn't that rolling again? What are the chances? Who ran over my new bike? Mum's going to kill me. Right, Mr what are Hill. What chances, exactly? What are the chances of hitting a stationary object in a domestic street at this time of the day? How did this guy ever get his licence? Maybe we should find out. Uh, Roland's an exceptional driver. He just gets a bit nervous when he sees police. I mean, doesn't everyone? Patsy, we weren't even there when the accident happened. 
look, as much as you'd always like to be in the passenger seat with them, you can't. Gosh, is that the time? Um, look, I'm running late for my next student. So if you'll excuse me. Then we'll finish my questions when you get back. Oh, I'll be at least an hour. That's all right. We'll be back. Tiddly. What are you trying to prove? Nothing. You're not the only hot shot investigator around here, you know? Is that what this is about? <laughs> You're jealous of me going on patrol with Jonesy? That is pathetic. Oh, it's not. I just want to get to the bottom of this case, all right? It's not a case. It's just a shoddy driver who shouldn't have got his licence. Chasing a lost cause, mate. I don't think so. Oh, you're an idiot. It's uh, definitely not in any of the interview rooms. You tried the mess room? Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Ben, I, I don't know how that ended up in the boss's office. No, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... If I'd not left it on your desk in the first place. No, it was sweet. How'd you two get on? I spoke to Patsy Norton, the woman who taught that idiot how to drive. She reckons there's no problem. He's just a nervous pee plater. Well, there's more to it than that. Come on, you saw her. She was hiding something. No, she was in a hurry. That she was. Yes, she Have was. you two it's... got any idea what you're going to do next? Roland gets retested and a story. No, I reckon it's worth making sure one way or the other. No. I agree. Have a chat to whoever tested Roland Hill. Driving instructors don't just hand out licenses. Oh, that's right. Checked every week. No tape. No tape. <sighs> no tape, no case. What are you going to have to tell the APP? Worse than that. I'm going to have to tell the daughter. <laughs> What's happened? He crashed. They say he's brain dead. <laughs> that makes it murder, right? Corvid will be charged with murder now. It's not just assault. Yeah, that's that's right. Not good news. Her father flatlined last night. She's oh. donating his organs. You didn't tell her? Mate, how could I? The one thing she's clinging to is the hope that her father's death isn't for nothing. Maybe I'll lift it at the home. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Right. It's half of that. Amy. You got a sec? I just spoke to the regional personnel officer in St David's and I asked her to pull Lucy Wu's file. Do you have any idea of the infinite varieties of excrement that are going to hit the fan when this request gets back to the division? Well, just calm down for a sec. Lucy Wu's file hadn't arrived from her previous posting in Dandenong, mm -hmm. so I called them. You what? I, the point is, there is no Lucy Wu. So you can crap on about your divisional officers till the cows come home. I think they're going to be far more interested in the fact that there's a serving police member who doesn't actually exist. So Donna's story isn't looking so shabby now, is it? Can you tell me why your people took it upon themselves to search a restaurant in St David's. They did no such thing. According to the owner, that is exactly what they did. Evan Jones and Amy Fox raided Chang's Chinese restaurant. Are you trying to tell me that police from Mount Thomas organised a raid on a restaurant in another response zone? Members from St David's were there for the search oh, as well. So St David's police led the raid. The information came from your people. It's all right, I'll talk to them in the, the meantime. The point is... Louis Chang is a highly respected member of our community. He feels this raid, which I might add, was undertaken purely on the basis of spurious gossip, has damaged his reputation, and I'm inclined to agree with him. I expect you to discipline your staff. I also want to speak to the informant responsible for this fiasco. I'll let you know as soon as that person's available. Good. The next time you two decide to head up a raid without informing me will be your last day in this job. It wasn't a Mount Thomas operation, boss. It was led by Detective Sergeant Reed from St David's. I'm always informed, right? Yes, Senior Sergeant. As for you, I'm assuming your informant was Donna Maitland. Falcon Price wants to see her. Get her here first thing in the morning. There's a problem. There wouldn't be if you'd gotten rid of her like I told you. I don't think she'll agree. It's not a request. Get her in here. I'm 
think we should have told him what we know about Falcon Price and the corruption. No. We don't know how far this spreads. How do we know that he's not in this with Falcon Price? You want me to put Donna's head on the block? Oh, come on, Jonesy. We always knew it'd come to this. She can't stay out there on her own forever. Don't stress. I mean, these parking bays are far too small. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's OK. We all make mistakes occasionally. You did fine. Oh, you mean I get my licence? Hello, constables. So do I get my licence? No, unfortunately not. No, 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 of course not. But look, practice makes perfect, doesn't it, Patsy? Yes, that's right. Look, let's go and reschedule another test for you, eh? Is that the same inspector who tested Roland Hill for his licence? Couldn't say. Gosh, is that the time? There is definitely something fishy going on with that driving school, Sarge. And the test is in on it too. Oh, of course he is. I just checked our databases. Almost all the drivers passed by him have been involved in accidents during the past few months. Good work. So can we get him and grill him? You can apply for a warrant and check out the driving school's bank account details. If you can find any evidence that she's on the take, then we can talk about a grilling. All right. But I think that it can wait until morning. Yep, good day's work for you too. Have it a drinker. Eh? All right, let's go. What about you, Sis? Oh, I'm gonna stay back. I've got a bit of work to finish. Okay. Fine. Didn't we already do this? I'll be there. I just want this all to end. Why can't we, um, oh, I don't know, run away together? Well, you really want to run? You really want to spend your whole life running away and not knowing if someone's coming after us? Us? I'm not leaving you in this, Donna. Whichever way you go, I'm, I'm coming with you. Whether it's to the station or to Queensland. You're putting a lot on the line for me. Yeah, I think you're worth it. In case you hadn't noticed, I kind of like you. I like you too. Queensland's not going anywhere. Neither am I. Got to eat. This is too much. Don't worry, I'm not staying. Then, then why? Well, I know that I've been pushing you a bit far lately. It's not going to happen again. No more poetry. No more origami love notes. The bed was beautiful. Yeah, but it was too much. I know it's not what you want. You're a good friend, Suze, and I don't ever want to lose that. Neither do I. You know I love you. Ben?
boss. Thank you. Donna is a great to come in. I'm very pleased to hear it. But only if I'm in the interview with her. I hope this isn't an attempt to blackmail me, Constable. Well, a witness with very significant evidence has agreed to release that evidence under very specific terms. And she says it's not negotiable. I'm sure the inspector will be delighted. It's not in the house, Scott. You've got no choice. You're going to have to tell the APP. Tell them what? You still haven't found that tape. Isn't it due with the OPP today? They're going to have to drop the prosecution. That, that thug will get off. I feel bad enough, okay? Not half as bad as Olivia Richards will feel. Hey, PJ, is this what you're looking for? Where'd you find it? I was in the property office. Thank God someone around here knows what they're doing. Oh, boss, anyone could have found it. Well, anyone didn't. You did. Thanks. So where was it? Oh, it just slipped down behind one of the shelves. Behind one of the shelves in the property office? Well, I checked three times and Jonesy went through it. Yeah, it was in a really awkward place. Look, the main thing is you got it now, yeah? Yeah, that's the main thing. There's a definite pattern to Patsy's deposits. $1,000 lots and all corresponding with people that got their licence two days later. And they were all people who'd already failed their test a number of times. And of each 1,000, 500 disappears straight away. We're assuming she's paying the tester his half in cash. Assuming you're right, how do you want to approach this? Well, um, we can get a warrant and search her office, or we can tap her phone and put her under 24-hour surveillance. Or well, how about I can go undercover and... How about you bring her in for a chat? Yes, yes, you can do the chatting, but I'll be watching. Thanks. Thanks for everything. very proud of you. Where did the extra payments come from? That's my business. Look, Patsy, we know exactly how you run your business, all right? A thousand dollars goes into your personal bank account. Two days later, another client gets their license. It's a coincidence. And it's also a coincidence that each time the test is given by your good mate, Bob Brenner. He's not my mate. I barely even know him. Well, he seemed pretty friendly yesterday. Well, you can't prove anything. You've got nothing. See, I shouldn't even be here. She's right. All right, so what do we do? Don't ask me. We're just probationary constables. This is our first interview. Hey, um, maybe Bob's going to be more helpful. What, do you have to talk to Bob too? I don't think we're supposed to tell her that. Why not? <sighs> because whoever tells us the truth first usually gets the better deal. Like I said, we're just probationary constables and we haven't had a whole lot of experience in this, but even we worked out what you're up to. That's right. So even if you don't tell us anything, I'm sure the sergeant over here is going to have more than enough to charge you. And the magistrate's smarter than we are. Well, he'll put two and two together. Probably come up with some jail time as well. Yeah, we don't even need to speak to Bob at all. Uh, no. no, why not? It was Bob's idea. I mean, he thought the whole thing up. I only agreed to go along because I needed the extra cash. You know, it's not like I was going to do it forever. I'll have that in a statement. Thank you very much. Name at the top. So, am I as good an investigator as Jonesy or what, eh? Not huh? too bad. <laughs> Amy. Is Falcon Price here? Yeah. Just tell him what you know. And don't name any police specifically. Something's going down? Looks like. You're never going to tell me, are you? Sorry, can't. You'll get your chance at the big time, though. Constable, when you're ready. Cal. About the other morning, I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you what was going on. I, I had to leave you in the car. Constable. I'm sorry. <laughs> big time, eh? Oh, do you have any names? No. St David's is my station, and I can tell you categorically, there is no corruption. Sir, with all due respect, Senior Detective Fox and I found out more about Hugo Allen's disappearance in 48 hours than your members have in a week. Senior Detective Fox? 
Well, it does suggest that someone at St David's didn't want to look for him too hard. That's because we don't have the manpower to send teams off to Hawaii or Acapulco, which is where I'm told Hugo Allen has more than likely run off with his girlfriend. Oh, do I look like I'm in Acapulco? Polka? I was his girlfriend. There was no one else. That you know of. The only evidence you have to back these wild allegations is this mobile phone, which you seem conveniently unable to produce. Yes, because my room was ransacked. If I was to take any of this at all seriously, I'd need far more than the unsubstantiated word of a... <coughs> Hooker? Not the phrase I would have used, but if you insist, yes. I don't have to apologise to anyone for how I enter living. You are wasting my time. There's no evidence to back up any of these statements, and I would think that any allegations of corruption at St David's would pale into insignificance against the unorthodox and dubious methods employed by your staff. Good day. Thanks a lot. What could I say? Donna didn't have the goods. Yeah, now she's out there hanging in the wind where Falcon Price can get at her. She'll end up in the same place as Hugo Allen and you can bet your life that's not Acapulco. I think that was Acabloody Pulco. Kalurgis has already tried to kill her more than once. There's nothing stopping him having another go. Look, the good thing about Donna being discredited is that it buys her safety. Well, how do you figure that? If Donna turns up dead, that's going to prove there's something to her story. The last thing Falcon Price wants... And if he's going to start knocking people off, there's a long list to go through. Louis Chang, Theo Kalurgis. You two need to go to this one. Well, Falcon Price isn't wasting any time, is he? 